People believe the Artemis mission is fake. Like, seriously. These people happen to be flat earthers. One of their claims that Artemis is fake is this image with the Orion spacecraft and Earth in the background. They claim that NASA just pasted on images on a black backdrop, but that's not true at all. They say that if you increase the exposure or brightness of this image, you get this with these weird artifacts around the objects. They say that that means these are images pasted on a background. So I decided to recreate it. So here's my black background and some images pasted on. So let's increase the exposure. What do you look at that? No artifacts at all. It's a crisp outline. Maybe this was a fluke. Let's try to recreate this scene. So I got my Orion spacecraft in the moon on a pure black background. Let's increase the brightness here. Boom! No artifacts whatsoever. It's a crisp contrast between image and background. But now, if I take a real picture of the moon and increase exposure, look at that. You have the weird little artifacts around the object. This is a real image of the moon. This is real. These are fake. We can clearly see that this real image has the artifacts and this image also has the artifacts. But these fake ones? No, they don't. They're smooth all around. Okay, but where are all the stars? The sun's light is reflecting off the spacecraft and Earth, so they'd be pretty blinding. And in order for the camera to get a detailed quality picture, you have to lower that brightness, which in return makes the background absolutely absolutely dark. In fact, you can recreate this with your phone. If you full screen an image of the moon on a computer screen and use your phone camera, you can tap the moon and lower the brightness of the focus. And you can see, you see more detail, but the background gets darker. But if you were to increase the brightness, then the image becomes, well, unrecognizable. The background becomes brighter. That's why the background is, well, 100% black because the brightness is lowered down to see detail because of the high exposure of light. Another claim they have is, well, it never even went to space. It landed in the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, look, how did that go to space? Boom, Bermuda Triangle. The reason why rockets launch with that curve is to escape Earth's gravity and to reach Earth's orbit and to stay there. If a rocket was launched straight up, it would never reach the Earth's orbit. It would have to continuously consume energy only to stay up in space. After it runs out of fuel, it would fall right back to earth like a rock. These are just a couple of claims they've made against Artemis and I just debunked them in like two minutes. So flat earthers out there, how do you explain this? Huh? What, what about this? Huh? How do you explain that? Because the earth is a globe. Gosh, dude, ancient societies figured this out before we even had sliced bread. But something that might be fake is Mr. Beast's lunar capsule. Remember that? I think he scammed us.